at least I don't do crystal meth in the bathroom all night long. Just because you can doesn't mean you should, girl. You have a little family van. So you want to fight? Let's Got fight. It. Enough. Surprise. That's my opinion. You are listening to the Drag Dungeon Podcast with your hosts, Jay and John. Hey. Welcome back to the broadcast, your favorite podcast. You ask for this shit if you're easily offended. We don't recommend it. You ask for this shit, so here it is. Hey everyone, today, the trailer for Ultimate Girls Trip uh, X Housewives Club dropped. From Bravo, we've been waiting a long time, right, Jay? Yeah, so I, exciting. I know you've been waiting with bated breath. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. Jay is not a huge Housewives fan. I am. I'm in the cult Scientology of Housewives. I'm interested in hearing about the new stuff that comes out. I am. Well, I'm open minded. The- I'm galvanized. I just want to say galvanized. I love when you say galvanized. Yes, that's true. But, um,. This is not now. You're you're being a very good sport because we will be talking about Dubai and Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills looks so good. By the way, it's coming up. I think next week. But the ultimate ultimate girls trip is like an offshoot. It's only on Peacock. Well, they said it was only going to be on Peacock, and then they, now they're airing it on Bravo too. So catch it wherever you want to catch it. It comes out June twenty third. Um, before we watch the trailer together, um, I will say I watched the first season of this now. Do you know the premise of the show is they just take, like, two housewives from each city. The first season, anyway. They took two housewives from a co- most of the cities, except the canceled ones, Dallas, and um, sent them to Turks and Caicos, which I don't know where that is. It's somewhere. It's an island somewhere. <laughs> uh, you oh, know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I it was, it was real boring. I thought the first season of the show was super boring. Everybody got along. They all ended up just kind of like Cynthia Bailey from Atlanta. She's friends with Kenya and they kind of had a falling out over some stupid. It's just, it's a lot of forced fun. I think these trips are only one or two weeks long and they just make like eight to 10 episodes out of it. I think it's eight. So it's a fun little short thing, but it's not, I thought the first season sucked. I'm just going to say that. Let me know in the comments if you think it sucked too. But it's like an all stars, right? Uh Uh-huh. Like but, all stars. But what's fun about this season, the, the second season, is it's ex housewives. So everybody that's been fired and has nothing to lose. <laughs> oh. So just quick, the the rundown of the cast uh, is Brandy Glanville, Beverly Hills, Dorinda Medley from New York, Eva Marcel from Atlanta, Jill Zarin, OG from New York, Phaedra Parks, Icon from Atlanta, Tamara Judge, OC, Taylor Armstrong, Beverly Hills, OG. Uh, Vicky is the number one, the original housewife from OC. Vicky is the original one. So what's interesting about this is Vicky and Tamara had like just gotten fired from Real Housewives of Orange County when they got put on this stupid girls trip. So while they're Uh, filming... Constellation prize. (laughs) Yeah. So (laughs) while they're filming, they're kind of like grieving that they just lost their jobs and... Additional drama is that while Vicky was, uh, you know, she was engaged to this guy, Steve Lodge, and while she's in uh, the Berkshires is where it's taking, it's taking place at Dorinda's house, Bluestone Manor. It's this huge estate in Massachusetts. And while Vicky was flying there, her fiance was leaving her and packing his shit (laughs) and dumping her. And, you know, Vicky's nuts anyway. Very dramatic. So you have compounded her getting fired from her TV show. She's famous for saying, if you don't like it, get off my show. Um, And being broken up with. So she's going to be totally (laughs) unraveling before our... Bravo's like, this is great. So, okay, before we uh, watch the trailer, let's give a shout out to Manscaped. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring our video. Listen up, kids. Last month, if you got the Lawnmower 4.0, the trimmer that we love... It's the best thing ever. Cordless, has a nice little charger. They have a great kit, and it's still available. But also, this month, Manscaped is relaunching the Ultra Smooth Package. It's back, baby. Your new favorite tool and complement to the Lawnmower 4.0 to keep your balls smooth while looking and feeling their best. <laughs> this specialized groin shaving kit is here to help you buff, protect, and shave your most sensitive areas. It's time to crop that bush of yours and get right to the roots with a discount just for you from Manscaped. 
Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com with our discount code DRAG20. You love the smooth, the uh, ultra smooth package, right? So, yeah, what's funny is, you know, the original things that I started using, um, I, I told John offline, I said, you know, I really like, I prefer a smoother situation down there. I wish In some there areas. was something. Yes. Manscaped had, right. Manscaped had that product and then boom, the ultra smooth package. I'm like, I am so excited about this. I know, it's like they're reading our minds because... I really am. Like, I literally said that to John. I, I wish they had something that was because I prefer very smooth. And then this arrives and I'm, I love it. It's awesome. I think this is a perfect to pair with the lawnmower thing because I myself am not a bald eagle down there. But I, you know, to, for <laughs> testing the product, I was like, you know what? I don't have anything going on. Let me go and test this out. It comes with an exfoliator, which is great. Who thought to exfoliate? And then, I mean, you know, before shaving that area, I just, it never really occurred to me. And then it comes with a gel and a really nice razor. And the razor comes with like a travel case. Now we love accessories. Now, see, the thing is, is that we all, like, I am big. I am an opponent of, not opponent, proponent, proponent of beauty, um, not beauty products, but like the, um, the process. Like, yes, you exfoliate. The ritual. Like, I don't know. Doesn't exfoliation does something to help maybe from ingrown hairs from yeah. happening? And then that area, in like any part of your body, all hair does not need, is not the same length all over your body. It shouldn't be. And <clears throat> so you can use both of these products in different parts of your body. And I read online, which I'm doing some more research that you can trim your armpit hair with this whole thing. Like, I know it's a, it's a oh, clipper, yeah. so of course you can, but... It's like something that you can use for that, you know, multi-purpose. Um, and yeah, like lotioning and putting lotion in places you probably didn't think you would put lotion in. You should. You should exfoliate. You should use the right kind of like this crop gel. You should use the right kind of shaving cream, shaving lotion. They're not all the same. Some are better than others. You know, I'm, I'm a big believer yeah, I'm Manscaped has really, this. they've cracked the code, ring-a-ding-ding, when it comes. So go to manscaped.com, use our code DRAG20, tell them that we sent you, and check out their other products. Now let's watch the trailer. Bustamara is a very special place. If you enter those doors, something happens. Why did I just realize that none of us are no longer on any of our shows? Well, X-Wives Club. Club. We're the X-Wives right Club. Here. here we are. What do you do here? <laughs> Get me out of here. We are destroying this town. <laughs> I'm very turned on right now. Do you want to go to a naked party? Bye-bye, <laughs> peasants. Where do you have to go to whoop it up around here at? I can't get this. Oh, Face of an angel, mouth of a serpent. Now that can make people act like this. No, I don't like it. When my bubble bursts, I burst back. Can you tell that truth? A unicorn's gonna show up. Birds of a feather flock together. I am not flocking with that bird. <laughs> shut the f up. No, you shut the f up. I won't tell you anything anymore about my relationship. How's that? I was on a show that you were no longer on. <laughs> I am social distancing from the. I can't go to another hospital with you. It's giving me a mangina. What the f is a mangina? Don't be a liar. I'm gonna walk away because I'm about to get. You know, she does a book a lot. We are fighting about stuff. I did. There's a lot of conflict going on with eight women. The only conflict is you. What made you think the lady was a lesbian? Her eyebrows. <laughs> These women are nuts. It's like when girls get their periods together. Ah, that ship has sailed. Vicky, I want to show you how to use a vibrator. I might have to paint my pants again. <laughs> the ex-wives club. We gotta stop calling people <laughs> One rotten apple to spoil the whole barrel. <laughs> Life is but a dream. Now, what'd you think of the trailer for this? Well, the beginning, I thought it was like the myth, like Stephen King, that monsters were going to come out because mm. I didn't understand all the myths at the beginning. Was there a reason for that? I don't know. There's the, well, they were playing some quotes, some famous quotes 
the, the quotes that those girls were saying, like, that's my opinion. That's Tamara and, you know, Brandy Glanville. Go fuck What about yourself. the fog? Well, it's for just kind of this ominous. It does seem like The Shining. Like, it's like the road leaning up. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Because <laughs> Dorinda. <laughs> like, at first, like, is this a horror thing that I. Yeah, I totally. Know. I was kind of hoping. Maybe. Here's Johnny. Um. <laughs> So anything that popped out at you, I have to say, I love that Jill Zarin's back. I have been championing for Jill Zarin. I had just given up because she was one of the best Real Housewives. She was one of the first ones on New York and they've canned her after like season five. And I was pissed for a decade. So finally she's back on TV. Now this comes on the heels of Bravo announcing that they're splitting Real Housewives in New York into two shows. Remember I told you they're doing like the legacy yeah. show they're calling it. And then like, uh, a new group of friends. I don't know how that's going to work. I'm just pissed that it's going to take too long. But um, I am happy that Jill's back. So I felt kind of like like some people. I don't know. Maybe it's just you know first impressions. But like I and I'm coming from an outside. Like I have you know John says I don't I don't like Housewives, but there are, I have seen Housewives. Like I did watch some episodes of like Atlanta and Phaedra. I remember Phaedra. She seemed very tame in this promo or do you think or no tell me if phaedra I'm is like a sneak attack she's super shady she's super funny but she's not loud and in your face but i i am excited to see her and i know you're not a housewives I, I i'm not saying you don't like it i'm just saying you're not like an overzealous freak about it like i am or have yeah been. you know yeah. I'm in i definitely sort of like gravitate towards different housewives and like i can tell you like you know i took i liked kim from um, Atlanta, like that, like I can tell you about her. Like I sort of gravitate towards certain ones. So yeah, so I don't know everything, but I'm, I I want to know more. So go on. Yeah, I mean, I know that tr- I can't, I really can't remember if they filmed this whole thing in a week or two weeks. It's very short, but they show them doing lots of stupid shit. Like I don't need to see blow up penis. I don't need to see like. A, oh, a, what was that? Yes, what was. That? Like, this is some drag race mini challenge shit, is what I'm getting from yeah. this stuff that they're Like doing. a bachelor party on, a bachelorette party on steroids. Like, I don't need that corny yeah. shit. Like, force a go lot to of. to the drag brunch and see, I don't know what. Yeah, a lot of forced fun situations, which I really Forced hate. fun. Perfect. Just yes. like. Um, That's a drag brunch. Let's play board games. Let's put on stupid costumes. Let's do aerobics. Let's do swimming. It's like, whoa. Like, I realize you're cramming a lot. I could honestly sit. They could have one big dinner table and just have them sit and argue at a dinner table for an hour and I'd be engaged. I really don't need all the... A hot air balloon? I mean, damn, they really did a lot. Hot <laughs> like, air balloon. Oh, they were like, this is like the Ryan Murphy of, <laughs> of Housewives. Let's just grab everything from everywhere and just put it all in one. <laughs> just, let's shoot each other out of a cannon. I mean... <laughs> right. It's a lot, but I can't imagine... Of course, I've been on trips with people and fought, but, and you know, if there's a camera on you, Nene Leakes coined the, the phrase camera balls. So like when a camera's on you, you just amp it up. Like if you're angry, just be real angry. You know? So yeah. I'd like to try. <laughs> Maybe we should do sure. the ultimate boys trip, you and I, and go fight somewhere. <gasps> yes. We could do that. Hmm. Where um, would we go? Think about that. <laughs> I don't know. Dubai, of course, because it's illegal to be gay, remember? Dubai, <laughs> let's go to Let's Dubai. go get beheaded. Well, anyway, um, so that's the trailer. It looks fun. It's taking place. Now, I, I don't know about you, but I'm very weird about, like, people in my environment. Like, uh, Dorinda's having this, hosting this in her home. And she's got a nice-ass house. Can you imagine having one, two, three, eight people in your house fucking with all your knickknacks and bric-a-brac and shit? Like... One is too many. Yeah. (laughs) People digging through your drawers. There was a season of Real Housewives in New York because they went to Dorinda's house every season when Sonia Morgan went digging through Dorinda's closet and put on an old pair of her pajamas. Silk pajamas. That happened to me once. Like, it happened to me once. Like, somebody stayed at my house and went through my... I, I sound like I'm totally just echoing what you just said. This happened. Somebody put on some of my clothes. Like, it was like... And they were like, wanted to keep them. Like, oh, I love this outfit. Can I just keep this? I'm like, no, you can't. Take that, off my shit. Like, so it wasn't creepy. my guest. 
yeah, it wasn't my guest in my house. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? So I've been there. You know, I get asked to house it quite a bit because I am not a snoop. I don't go in people's drawers. I don't snoop. I don't look in things. I'm very respectful no. when it's somebody else's home. I even ask, I'm like, may I please have another towel? Like, I'm very, I was brought up right. But these bitches, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of them have had, like, mental breakdowns and things since then. But I'm looking forward to the drama. <laughs> so, whatever that thing in your brain that keeps you from snooping, being a rude asshole has, like, broken. <laughs> yeah. But, like, like, at one point in their lives, they were having a breakdown, and that little <laughs> thing in their head went, crack. <laughs> just like, you know what? So just push me over the edge. <laughs> they just, they don't care anymore. They're, like, throwing stuff out of people's closets. Get this. What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> it's going to be fun. It starts June 23rd on Peacock. Now, I understand the dilemma of having multiple streaming networks, so what will I be doing? buying peacock for two months while this is on it's only five bucks a month and then canceling it again i keep doing this with all the streaming networks maybe you will too unless peacock would I like have. to sponsor us in which case you should subscribe yeah. welcome <laughs> you're long i think i have peacock i think i do have it there is a free version but i don't know to get girls I'm trip so if you have free. to do i don't know I'll figure it out but anyway we'll be back this weekend with our met gala review looks review which is yes. going to be ruthless and next week with beverly hills the premiere of season whatever so please subscribe and like the video and leave a comment we love you for listening and watching thanks for listening thank you bye bye